hey honey, what's up? You didn't tell me I have to pick him up today. Yes, yes, I'll pick him up right outside of school, like always. Bye. Damn foster kid. I should never have accepted to foster him. He's nothing but trouble. Hey, uh, dad, you're gonna have to help me because I, I can't get in. Oh my God, this kid is so annoying. I'll be back in a little while. Just stay put, okay? I'm meeting my work buddies for a drink. And don't you dare get out of the car. Call me while I'm in there. You understand? Dad. What a loser. Hey, Siri. Call Mango Park Police Department. Ugh, <laughs> oh, what is this? Hey, honey, what's up? What? You didn't tell me I have to pick him up today. You should have reminded me again this morning. I can't do it. You have to do it, all right? Why? Because I told my friends from work that I would meet him at the bar this afternoon. That's why. Oh, are you really being serious right now? All right, fine, I'll do it. Yes, yes, I'll pick him up right outside of school, like always. Bye. Oh my, I, damn foster kid. I should never have accepted to foster him. He's nothing but trouble. Hey, uh, Dad, you're gonna have to help me because I, I can't get in. Oh my God, this kid is so annoying. Uh, oh, okay. Hey, hey Dad. <laughs> All right, kid, get in. Dad, you okay? I'm annoyed, kid. Oh, bad day at work. No, actually, I was having a good day until your mom called me and asked me to pick you up from school today. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Why the hell are you even going to school this week anyway? I mean, look at you. You can barely move your arms. Yeah, come on, I mean, I can still go to school and learn. I just can't take notes. Well, you interrupted my day, and I'm not happy about it. And I'm a busy man, Tyrone. I've got meetings to attend to and people to see. Okay, okay, gosh, Dad. I mean, it's not like it's my fault. I mean, I just can't be driving for the next couple of weeks. Jeez, man. Of course it's your fault. You burned your arms, right? Okay, look, it was a barbecue accident. Like, why are you blaming me? Because you're not careful, and now I'm paying the price for it. Wait. Wait, wait, why are we going this way? I thought the house was the other way. Because I need to make a stop somewhere. I told you earlier, I'm a busy man, remember? I mean, but you gotta at least drop me home first. If you'd like, I can stop now and you can walk home from here. That's six miles away. That's what I thought. Okay, kid, here we are. I'll be back in a little while. Just stay put, okay? Uh, Dad, this is a bar? I thought you said you were going to a meeting. Yeah, exactly. I'm meeting my work buddies for a drink. Oh, come on, Dad. And don't you dare get out of the car. Call me while I'm in there. You understand? I'm not going to call you if I don't have hands. Duh. <laughs> That's right. Oh, and the gas on the car is a little low, so I'm not going to run the air while you're in here. What do you mean? Dad, it's hot outside. And besides, I got to keep my arms cool at all times. I'm going to be melting in here. Well, you're just going to have to grin and bear it till I get back. Capiche? Dad. Dad? Dad! What a loser. Dad!
Wait, wait. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Call Mango Park Police Department. Okay now. Oh my God, what happened to your arms? Uh, uh, the barbecue accident. Well, why didn't you just open the door? Can't really use my hands. I'm gonna try it. Kind of, kind of hurts. Well, who left you in here? My dad. My dad left me in there. Wait a minute. Your dad left you in a car with no AC, knowing that you had no way of getting out? I guess that's what foster dads do, huh? Look. Just rest right here, get you some fresh air, okay? Thank you, officer, thank you very much. Your foster mom, she's not like this, right? Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no, she's not, she's great, she's great, she's great. And your foster dad, where is he now? Oh, well, he's in, uh, he's in the bar over there. Wait a minute, your foster dad is in there having a good time and he left you out here? <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. But you know what? I'll deal with that situation later. For right now, we need to get you hydrated. Yes, sir. Go to my car, get you some water. Wait right here, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Tyrone, what the hell are you doing outside the vehicle? Didn't I tell you to stay inside? How'd you get out? I took him out. Who the hell are you and what are you doing here? I'm Captain James Porter of the Mango Park Police Department and I just saved your son. Saved him from what? Heat exhaustion, but mainly from you. From me? What are you talking about? When your son called us asking for emergency help, I just happened to be in the area and I rushed over here thinking that it's a parent who accidentally left their child in a hot car. Then I find out that you're inside of this bar having a good time and you intentionally left him in there. What type of cruel person would do that to another human being? Come on, man. I was just having a few drinks with friends, that's all. <sighs> Turn around and put your hands behind your back. Why? Why? Did you really just ask me that? Now turn around and put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. Hey, I'm going to put him in the back of my car. When I get back, we're gonna call your foster mom and we're gonna figure this out. Thank you. Come on. <laughs> 